Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. So, time to uh, return back home, where Prince Kane is supposedly, you know, coming. Where Prince Kane was supposedly headed. Oh god, Babbles. I don't really want to get poisoned by Babbles. That is the key feature of Babbles, if I'm not mistaken. Other than the fact that they look like melted slimes. In mid what used to be Midden Hall. Lorazia Castle. Off to the southeast from here. At least there are no more babbles on this side of the uh, on this side of the bridge. There are slimes that run away. Enemies are much faster to run away in this version than they were in number one. It's almost like they don't want to get pummeled. Okay. Well, if, if uh, the prince showed up, he definitely would have. I don't see a prince here. I guess he already left. I'm, I'm sensing this was the developers having a good laugh. I'm sensing the developers were laughing when they wrote this part. Okay, that, let's go. Let's go back to Sumaltria. If that is indeed where the prince went. did go there we I think we need to go there too <sighs> freaking impatient Prince. I mean, technically, we are too. Okay. So let's let's uh, check in and see if we can find find him. Evil prophet. Do you have anything to say? No, nothing yet. Okay, you didn't get yourself landed in jail. I guess that's a good start. Yes. 
I'm trying. Let's see if the, the princess here has any useful information for us. He takes breaks. Well, there, there's really only one place that could be seen as an ideal break-taking spot between here and Laurasia Castle. And that would be the town. I'm still annoyed. Even more because of monster frequency. Why did they have to give this guy absolutely no magical power whatsoever? Being able to cast Repel and the base level heal or something. Okay, Prince. Did you take a break here? I think you did. You. You know how much extra walking you made me do? You you made me do all this extra walking. Eh, now we have a new party member. Who has who is level one? Yay, have to level them up for one. Yay. Also, if we stay in the inn, the price is now doubled because we're paying for two heads instead of one. So, let's see. I believe you are the... No. Uh, yeah, weapon shop. So let's see. Yep, we we've got out the cane here. Luckily, he's able to use a whip. Let's go ahead and sell what he had. This, this menu system's a little annoying. Okay, so now that we've found the doofus here, maybe he has a legacy to him or something. I don't know. However, let's see. Where would be a good place to go from here? Head. I'm not completely sure where we need to go at this point. Let's go see if we can find anyone that gives us a hint as to where our third party member might be. Well, we do get twice the attacks now. Hopefully Kane here levels up reasonably fast. Since I'm pretty sure this halves our experience. What 
Kane starts out with a heal spell. Huh. You have any other spells? I wonder. You are a paladin. You have heal. That's all you have right now. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All you have is heal. Trying to get back to here. I believe somebody mentioned that someone. Somebody mentioned something about me work. Don't need to pit dog. Hey, okay, that's not helpful. Oh yeah, you. Hmm. Fine old man living in a monolith far to the south. Okay, there, there's a destination for us. Someone says go far and wide. We can go check out a monolith and see where this monolith might just take us. Far to the south. Not the most knowledgeable about the area to the south here. I would like to at least find this monolith. Is that what kind of be the next goal here? Finding the next monolith. It's a little ways away, I believe. Oh, Kane leveled. I'm guessing, yep. Let's, let's try not to walk directly on the mountains. We'll get in a few less fights that way. Unfortunately, Kane is not strong enough to beat a Drakee in one shot. I don't know if he ever will be. I guess eventually he'd have to be. Because if he never if he never gets to the point where he can beat a Drakee in one shot, that's pretty bad. I believe this is what we're looking here. Oops. Did not mean to step outside the monolith. Okay. So the silver key is hidden inside the lake cave west of Sumultria. Okay. Well, that's not exactly direct passage to Moonbrook, but it will give us an idea of where the key we where one of the keys we need is. And if you look at that door that's on screen, notice how the outline around it is gold. Silver key won't open it, but a gold key will. And if you look at the other doors, the patterns on the rest of them don't matter too much, but it's what color the outer barrier outline, whatever you want to call it is. 
You'll you'll see it more if you pay attention to the to the uh, doors as we go. But since we are getting close to getting a key, I figured it's a good time to bring that up. But now that we have another goal in mind, we actually have a place we can go visit now. I do believe time to call the video. Kind of stumbled into this one, but hey, I'll take, I will take it because we need something. But anyway, next time we we will go uh, go hunt down the key. So until then, take care, folks. I've got leveling to do. See you later. <laughs>